Japan, being an island country and having experienced significant hits, especially during the Second World War, has a critical need to safeguard its maritime borders using various technologies. Also, being close to its hostile neighbors China around the Senkaku Islands, North Korea across the Sea of Japan and Russia by the Sea of Okhotsk, has prompted Japan to manufacture a new generation of submarine technologies for its maritime securities. The introduction of submarine fleets has made the Japanese Navy a powerful component. The government of Japan understands that the need for a stronger and more proactive submarine fleet is necessary to perform the task around its maritime borders. The new development, which is the Taige class of submarines, is intended to replace the old Soryu submarine, whose functionalities were deemed imperfect and not up to the strength needed by the Japanese naval forces. On the 9th of March 2022, Japan launched a new submarine fleet, the 29 SS Taigai project. The giant submarine is a diesel-electric powered submarine, the first of its kind, which has stunned the entire world, which finds this new submarine technology absolutely amazing. The US, China, Russia and other powerful nations have been amazed at how Japan was able to develop such a submarine fleet with lots of amazing features. In this video we talked about the new Japanese Taige submarine, its features, the effects on Japanese maritime security, and how powerful countries like the United States and China are reacting to it. Come with us. First, let's take a brief look at Japan's history with the development of warships and submarines. The first Japanese development of warships and submarines happened in the Heian period between 794 to 1185. The first significant achievement in naval warfare came with the development of big boats called the Atagobuni, which were used primarily to supply food and war equipment during military campaigns. And then during the Muromachi period around 1335 to 1573, there was a huge improvement with the discovery and invention of gunpowders, booklets, and sophisticated warboats and ships. The naval force grew more during the Sengoku period, and the Warabiru Boon was invented, which was said to be very fast and used for piracy and raiding. Ataka Boon was developed in the Azuchi Momoyama period between 1568 and 1600. Fast forward to 1868-1912 during the Meiji period. The ships were modernized with Western development by adopting the designs and technology used. Moving ahead during World War II, those naval developments helped the Japanese protect their many sea borders from invaders. The development also aided the Japanese in 1941 when they had some expansionist misunderstandings with the United States and attacked Pearl Harbor in the United States, killing over 2,000 people at Pearl Harbor. United later retaliated with the Hiroshima and Nagasaki genocides, which claimed over 200,000 lives. The Japanese have since then been advancing silently in the area of maritime security and the building of submarines and warships to combat and repel the enemy forces. The Japanese government understands that the sea borders may be attacked by enemy forces any time if there are not enough forces to quell such attacks that may come from both neighbors and faraway enemies. Japan, unlike the other powerful nations, is not so interested in nuclear weapons, perhaps because of its history with Hiroshima and Hagazaki. The Navy has never had a nuclear submarine, but it has altogether 22 submarines, which can match up any nuclear submarine. This includes the Oyashio and Soryu submarines. The first of these Japanese submarines with the number SS-590 was launched in 1988 and still operating. The new generation Japanese submarines are the most powerful, even better than those of the US and Russia. It is believed to be the most dangerous to the enemy and can combat any enemy ship or submarine in the world. Yes, that's how the Japanese have grown in maritime technology. With the destruction of many cities in Japan, for example, Hiroshi and Hagazaki, which were destroyed by US missiles during the Second World War, Japan has recovered from these many more damages and has risen to be one of the world's most advanced countries when it comes to different technologies. The new submarine and other previous submarines are a testament to the power of the Japanese security technology system. In its bid to protect its seas from external aggression, it's obvious that Japan is not halting its approach to developing new submarine forces. But what is the Taige submarine about? And why is Taige being commissioned for a new series? It's pretty straight, the idea was to replace the old and outdated submarines in the future, surprisingly, with ideas that were once considered not working at first. Taige being is a highly praised submarine series under Project 29 SS. Let's take a look at the engine and compare it with other series. The Soryu submarines. They are anaerobic, which is a stirring engine. The engine has external combustion, which makes it air-dependent. 
It's actually very different from the internal combustion engine, as it does not compulsorily need air to function. A Stirling engine is quite different from other engines in the sense that the components are not powered with fuel, but receive heat from the outside by expanding and pushing the pistol of the cylinder. The engine does not require oxygen to generate external heat. Rather, heat can be gotten through other chemical reactions in the absence of oxygen. The Stirling engine is actually much easier to operate than the diesel-electric engines, but it has a downside that makes it imperfect. It makes a loud noise, and too much noise is not okay for a good submarine. Because of these downsides and a few others, Japan shifted back to diesel-electric submarines. Unlike the past projects, which used diesel-electric engines, the new project uses lithium batteries instead of lead-acid batteries. However, these new batteries have a few downsides too. First, it's actually very expensive, and then it heats up pretty fast when being charged. Mariso, the survival and effectiveness of the submarines depend a lot on the batteries, and they can also emit some toxic vapors when in operation in order to create the Taigai submarine. Japan set out on the two submarines of the Soryu class in 2015 and 2017. They had to reconstruct and re-engineer without the Stirling engine. Though there are many similarities between the new Taigai and the previous Soryu types powered by Stirling engines, which were deemed imperfect. Both have the same body shape and design, but the new project has a bigger displacement that's wider. The Taigai submarine is about 9.1 meters wide and 84 meters in length, while the surface displacement is around 3,000 tons, while the displacement underwater should be between 4.1 and 4.2 thousand tons. The major component of this state-of-the-art technology is what is called anti-ship cruise missiles and torpedoes, which make it easy for them to launch attacks on surface poles and targets underwater. It's also equipped to pedios that can attack big warships and even anti-submarine torpedoes for launching attacks on enemies. The guns are sophisticated, which makes them more effective. The Taigi can also deploy anti-ship cruise missiles to attack ships up to 140 miles away. The main difference between this class and the previous class is the air-independent propulsion system, which allows it to stay submerged for a long time without any need for oxygen. This allows it to perform even more operations, and since it is powered by lithium batteries, it is even more reliable than the Soyu and other classes of submarines. The Taigai submarine is also equipped with advanced surveillance suites, an integrated warfare system, and several torpedo countermeasure systems. It is specifically designed to work in accordance with the JMSDF proposition, which includes having a P-1 maritime aircraft for patrols and the SH-60KL helicopter for patrols as well. When we talk about stealth capacity, this Japanese naval machine has anechoic tiles, a streamlined design, and other advanced stealth technology. This explains why it is very difficult for the enemy aircraft or ship to detect its presence underwater, even when it is close by. Its no-noise capabilities makes this very efficient. This warfare underground machine is powered by two diesel engine generators together with an air-independent propulsion system. The working together of these two generators provides a power source which ensures its efficiency and extends its working range. Even in shallow waters, it still works very well. It doesn't end there. It is also equipped with the vertical launch system, which accommodates about 24 UGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missiles. This makes it possible to enhance the functionalities and capabilities, hence making it easy to fire the target from a long range with high accuracy. Oh well, it has more. It also has Intelligent Gathering and Reconnaissance ISR, which makes it work in even more roles. The ISR comes with an advanced sensor that works together with the communication systems, allowing the function of carrying information to other parts and to the various command centers. In the Taigei submarine, there are also many crew quarters, recreational facilities, and a hall. This means that it encompasses beyond launching attacks, but also contains recreational luxuries. Due to the easy movement of the submarines, they can easily attack from a very far distance from their horizons hence influencing the dynamics of marines. Since Japan is an island country and is surrounded by enemy countries, it is crucial that the country maintain readiness to repel any attack from the enemy's camp. The submarines are on standby and can suppress any attack that approaches them. The Taigai submarine can also be used for submarine warfare. As mentioned earlier, these machines use torpedoes and anti-ship cruise missiles and are capable of attacking them. These components and features are very crucial to Japan's maritime borders. 
These classes can also operate surveillance without getting detected, and even gather information about enemy activities underwater. So it's got numerous functionalities, which makes it a huge asset. The Taigai New Generation submarine has a brilliant speed of 22 knots when submerged and about 20 when surfaced. It can accommodate up to 65 crew members of Japanese naval personnel. Special intelligence and operations can be of high benefit in this regard for marine forces. It can also be used to penetrate sea areas without being detected. While most submarines cannot convey nuclear weapons, this one is enough to repel attacks and even destroy enemies. This special weapon shows Japan's naval security strength, as it can even destroy the enemy's final destination when they retreat. In defending Japan and ensuring its sovereignty and maritime resources, this ship is very important and will save Japan from future attacks. The construction of this wonderful warfare weapon started in 2017. The second and third ones are expected to be completed this year, 2024, by the JMSDF. This information indicates the country's commitment to creating strong and dangerous military security capable of downsizing any enemy that wants to attack the country. The Japanese have surprised the United States and even other global powers like China and Russia because it is actually an invention that has never been seen before. With its brilliant capability, there is no doubt about Japanese technology being one of the most advanced and developed in the world. The Japanese government is, however, willing to invest massively in the Taigai submarines and see that they become the backbone of Japanese naval defense. We can keep mentioning the features and brilliance of these wonderful machines on and on without stopping. But what prompted the Japanese to create such a sophisticated weapon of warfare? Are they going to war with any country soon? Well, the truth is that China is seen as a major threat based on rumors. China has been expanding for quite some time now, and the Japanese are not feeling comfortable with this. Being that the two are the Asian most powerful countries, they have been sure rivals for many years now. Beyond these reasons, it is to maintain the country's sovereignty, protecting its people and seas. An island nation like Japan is not bordered by a country by land, so the naval defense is put so much into consideration because that is where the enemy will follow if they want to attack. The Taigei submarines are a big step by the Japanese government to provide the Japanese people with more security, tighten the marine regulations and advance in warfare technologies, which is definitely a big boost in today's world where countries with the most weapons are feared and respected. Japan is one of the most peaceful countries in Asia, and the government is committed to ensuring lasting and continuous peace and demonstrating readiness for any situation that may want to truncate the peace and stability enjoyed in Japan. Why is the United States surprised? The United States, being a major world power, has been at the top edge when it comes to maritime defense. Seeing this supership that is more advanced than any of the US submarines is surely a big surprise, as this is a real challenge to their dominance in the Pacific. The Japanese Taigai submarine is known to be large and have multiple advanced functionalities, even launching missiles and operating a drone-like feature. It sure makes a formidable force for combining and repelling attacks and operations under sea. It is no doubt a significant improvement in Japanese maritime security. Even though the United States has its own advanced submarines too, the country underestimated the Japanese ability to create a weapon of heavy functionality like this. More so, the new development is part of Japan's effort to modernize its military and extend its security across borders. In addition to the surprises, the United States still has military bases in Japan, and both countries are in military alliances. Obviously, it calls for concern. Developments like this can make a powerful country feel jealous and slightly betrayed. A development like this will surely make the US, China, Russia and all other superpowers want to do something too. Most of these countries are sure to respond in different ways to these new Japanese submarines. How are these countries reacting to this? The United States being a very close ally with Japan may see it as a reason to even strengthen their ties with Japan due to their increasing military power, which may also benefit them in so many ways, especially in the areas of border security and stability. However, there may be certain concerns, like the chance of a misunderstanding or miscommunication between the two countries. Also, the US may feel threatened about whether Japan wants to resume its expansion aims, like during World War II, when both countries went to war before they later reached an understanding and started an alliance. China, being a leading country in Asia, may be even more concerned about this development. It is possible that China may see it as a threat to overtake or challenge them in the future especially when the two countries are still facing territorial dispute about who will own the Senkaku Islands, which are currently controlled by Japan. 
China may look at it as a way of Japan forcefully owning the island. Japan is also very close to Russia, and both countries are still facing disputes as regards the ownership of the southern Kuril Islands, which were told to have been forcefully taken from Japan during World War II, so it is quite likely that Russia will try to strengthen its military presence in the southern Kuril Islands as a response to this new development. North Korea, including South Korea, may also feel uneasy about the new development. North Korea and South Korea both have sea borders with Japan. North Korea, since 2018, has been testing lots of missiles lately and has been seen as a threat to the United States and its neighbors, including South Korea. Kim Jong-un, the president of North Korea, may actually see it as a threat. Maybe that's why the New Year's speech says that the military should prepare for war this year. It is actually possible he feels the Japanese military is growing way too strong and may launch an attack on North Korea any time soon. The Republic of South Korea also shares water borders with Japan. The country obviously does not have enough firepower in case a war breaks out, but may turn to the United States for help. South Korea may also feel threatened, even though both countries are good allies. Nobody knows what Japan's other motives are, but the world power countries are shaken by this new development, the United States especially. The Japanese government has been silent on global issues for decades now, while the United States and Russia have continued to engage. For now, Japan may be regarded as the maritime world power, with the launch of these new submarine classes, which may not be happy news to the United States, which has invested a lot in defense and established military bases in too many countries, including Japan. There is a high chance the United States had no knowledge about such a gigantic weapon of warfare, or they didn't know Japan could do something as great as this. Whichever one it is, Japan's major concern is protecting its land borders since it shares no land borders with any other country. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you stay alert each time we post informative contents like this. Also, do well to drop a comment on what you think about this new Japanese development. Thanks for watching.